It's interesting to note the uh, the density of growth over the last, let's say, three to four years. Was was it always Anthony's plan to become the biggest and the most dominant? You know, I I think it evolved after the success with Club Pilates. Mm-hmm. What I think we figured out is, although we'd love to say, you know, obviously it's a phenomenal brand. But I think what we realized is what we had was a formula and really essentially a sales and marketing engine that we felt pretty confident that we could overlay over other modalities and have the same type of success in the market. I look at it like Starbucks didn't create coffee any more than we created Pilates or yoga or indoor cycling. They just came with the best distribution channel to bring that experience to market and win. And that's essentially what we're doing with with our modalities and kind of going into these different verticals and then bringing it to market and, 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 you know, competing and winning. Um, but I think it started after club Pilates and, and then, you know, he acquired um, our second brand, which was actually candidly a turnaround at the, at the point it was uh, called, called cycle bar. That's yeah. in, it's our you know, third largest brand today, actually. And um, you know, just completely being candid here when he bought that system, 75% of the owners, there were hundred units open, 75% of the owners were losing money. Uh, it was an oversized model and an underperforming, um, you know, business, business platform, but he saw, you know, basically everything that was broken in that business. He knew that's where our strengths were and what we do best. Mm-hmm. And so now, you know, we've been able to literally cut the investment in half and triple the unit volumes uh, in, in, in the brand. So um, it's one of the top performing brands we have today, you know, in the system. So it's been really neat to watch that happen. And then, so realizing that formula works, whether it's turning something around in the system or taking, a, you know, an emerging brand that has three units, like a stretch lab, growing it to now we just crossed over 400 licenses awarded in that modality and 150 open on, on that, on that brand. So really kind of growing something from, almost in its inception, but seeing an opportunity in a space where there's a lot of you know, room to, to grow um, and, and a modality that's really complementary to our other verticals. So, so it's really kind of this, you know, I would say our special sauce is really the sales and marketing engine that we kind of bring to these, these business models. Well, and it absolutely is an amazing sales and marketing engine. What I've always been impressed with as these brands have come, stayed and grown is the dedication to the franchise owners themselves. That's what's truly remarkable to me about this gargantuan thing that you're building is the dedication to the franchise owners. 